I'll talk a little bit about my project. Um, I'm building a, a Super Cub. Um, it's a wide body, so that means it's um, four inches wider, um, basically where the pilots seat, um, where the pilots sit, and um, just gives you a little more leg room. Um, there's a couple more. Uh, basically, it's got all the Alaska mods, or a lot of them. Got the X brace, um, just a lot of different. So stuff. I am welding the fuselage myself. Um, I bought the tubing kit from a company called VR3 uh, Engineering. Um, they're out of um, Alaska. Uh, sorry, where are they at? They're in Ontario, Canada, I believe. Um, so I I emailed them, um, got in contact with them. They um, they shipped me out the tubing kit. It's a uh, nice thing about it is it's all coped. It's all pretty bent, cut, coped, all that. So uh, it makes the welding pretty easy. Um, they cut all the tubes and bend all the tubes based on um, based on like the 3D rendering, the CAD CAD rendering. So it's pretty dang precise, um, which is really nice if you're TIG welding. Um, you don't really want um, gaps in your copes, uh, you, you know, where your clusters come together. So, um, so if you're interested in um, welding your own uh, Super Cub, uh, I believe they sell tubing kits for um, like other experimental planes. Um, Definitely uh, reach out to them. Um, yeah, let's see. So that's a fuselage. Um, and then the wings are from Javron. They're uh, just the normal Javron wings. They're squared off wing tips um, instead of rounded like a typical um, P-18s. Um, so they're squared off, uh, 24 gallon tanks in each wing. Um, what else is special about it? The ailerons go all the way to the end of the uh, wing tips, I believe. Um, I think that's what I was. I think that's the wing I got. <laughs> and the uh, flaps come all the way into the fuselage, um, and I I believe they're extended. I need to look at the paperwork on what uh, which flaps I got. I think they're the extended flaps. So it should be a good um, good wing. Um, they're all aluminum. Okay, so like I was saying, I'm pretty early on, but let me show you um, basically some of the stuff I've welded up. Um, you can see here uh, I've got, you know, stabilizer, rudder, um, tack welded. It's not finished welded yet. Um, and then on my build table, you can see I have um, another stabilizer tack welded. Um, started to do some finish welding on that. Here's the drawing that I, you know, base the jigs off of on my table. So you can see, um, basically this is backwards right now, but if I, put it back in the jig, you know, that's, that's about what it looks like when it's in the jig. Um, obviously, um, this is symmetrical to the one on the other side, so I can use the same jig for it um, and build two of them. Um, then, I'll, then I'll be pretty close to done with the empennage. Um, parts. Um, I'll have to weld the hinges on um, and finish weld the other two parts I showed you hanging up.
yeah, I think for the rest of this video, um, I will share some uh, time-lapse footage from me um, driving home from Utah. So uh, to get the wings from Javron, um, I met the shipper down in um, Brigham City, Utah. Um, it was going to be like another few hundred bucks to get him delivered all the way here and he was already going through Utah so I just met him down there and, and um, drove him the rest of the way up here but um, yeah I, I uh, will roll some time-lapse footage from my drive home you can see the sun come up. Mm -hmm.